done electronically on time, but is it done in real time? No, it's not. They're not, they're not being checked. And that leads to what? Suicides. A shortage of detention officers at the Bear County Jail leading to complaints about overtime and allegations of corners being cut by officers. Some officers tell the defenders they are frequently working 16 hour shifts and are even cheating the systems used to check in on inmates. But jail administrators tell me a very different story in this defenders report. A lot of officers do cut corners to avoid write-ups. This veteran detention officer says he and other officers feel pressured to do whatever it takes to get the job done. And with the current staff shortage of 80 officers, that includes cutting corners on required inmate checks. Over the past year, the jail began using an electronic system to digitally track when officers do their rounds, replacing these outdated handwritten logs to cut down on mistakes and keep better records. This officer says he and others bypass it. When you're doing your rounds, sometimes when you're running late, you cut through the day room to get to the next one, or you rush upstairs to just hit it so you won't be late. You would be skipping, you would be doing it at random. This former detention officer said on some shifts, inmates would rarely be checked. I would say within an eight hours, probably once, maybe twice if they're lucky. The stories are backed up by other current and former officers the defenders have talked to in recent weeks who say they felt pressure to complete the checks on time or face discipline. They also claim those handwritten logs, which are still used in some units, are falsified. Officers uh, usually will skip a space, wait for the officer to come back and relieve them, even though it's been past the 10 minute mark. They're out doing the, the rounds and the officer comes back and lies on the book and says they were there 10 minutes ago when they just showed up. That practice is not permitted, it's not supported by us. If they're doing that, they're taking it upon themselves. Deputy Chief Henry Reyes is the assistant jail administrator. He took us on a tour to show us how the round tracker system works. He says no one has complained to him about it and he isn't aware of officers cheating it unless they can hack a computer and get in there um, uh, I don't I don't see how they're cheating the system if officers have concerns he says they should take it up with him or a supervisor each shift has captains and lieutenants on duty and sergeants whose responsibility it is to address the concerns of the officers immediately um, and and that's what we trust that they're doing okay sir be ready but the officers tell the defenders oh, yeah. they do raise concerns with supervisors who look the other way they also complain about frequent overtime shifts requiring officers to spend up to 16 hours in one housing unit so once you hit the fifth sixth hour of your second eight hour your your body's just giving up on you and you're lacking and doing checks, checking the inmates, you know, pet searching inmates, and just, you just don't care anymore because you just want to go home. Reyes says they try to limit mandatory overtime to eight hours a week, giving officers plenty of advance warning. They also try to avoid keeping officers in the same housing unit for 16 hours, but Reyes says it can happen. While Reyes says they do ask more of them, detention officers have the same expectations they had when he started at the jail 17 years ago. You do rounds at the required intervals. You look for living, breathing body. You address inmate concerns when you're doing your rounds, and then you log them. That's nothing new. Very interesting. And Tim, do they believe these issues are linked perhaps to the four inmate suicides that we saw earlier this summer? Well, the officers believe so, but jail officials do not. And the Texas Commission on Jail Standards didn't find any violations of minimum standards for any wrongdoing uh, by the detention officers who were in charge when those suicides occurred. Jail officials do admit, though, that they could do a better job of retaining officers. They say 180 officers have either resigned, retired, or been terminated in the past year, while 198 officers have been hired. To read more about this story, look for it on KSAT.com.